Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. It's the day before the Baturbiev yard fight. Let's talk about it. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, this fight's alluring, isn't it? I have a pre-fight video up already. I'm going to talk about the odds, many of them, from BetMGM here in this video. But here's how I want you to think about the fight. It's inviting. In fact, you get an invite. Right? There's someone you find attractive. And she or he, whatever your fantasy, invites you over. Right? You know they're going out with somebody else, but you're foolish enough to go over there. And of course you enter and she has a great bottle of wine. There's some music playing. Somehow it's your favorite singer, right? Luther, Teddy, uh, Terrence Trent Darby, whoever, right? Somehow they have Anthony Hamilton or whoever playing in the background. And of course, the person says to you, hey, you mind if we have this pay-per-view fight on, on the TV? And you're thinking, my goodness, <laughs> right? That bottle of wine, somehow the person knows that you're a Pinot Grigio person or whatever. Um, it's all set up for you. And you're thinking to yourself, man, I know this isn't right. <laughs> What's the catch? You have questions about the person's existing relationship. The third person who you know they might still be going out with, you're not sure, is this the time to ask? Are you going to go with the flow here or are you going to wreck the mood? Let's just say there's a lot going on. Folks, there's a lot going on in the Arthur Baturbiev, Anthony Yard fight. Let's cut to the chase. I think Baturbiev is the superior fighter. I believe Baturbiev wins this fight like he always does, and that's by stoppage. Folks, no one has gone the distance with Arthur Baturbiev, right? Understand, I think Baturbiev has a skill that doesn't quite translate on film. Right? Like Joe Fraser, Baturbiev just has the ability to get deep in the pocket. Right? Unlike Joe Fraser, Baturbiev doesn't have to bob and weave to get deep in the pocket. In other words, opponents know that they're at imminent danger because of Baturbiev's hooks with both hands. So I believe they freeze. They don't quite know how to handle someone who's hyper-aggressive. Understand how good Baturbiev is at it. He was ranked number one. Number one at heavyweight as an amateur. Now keep in mind, in the amateurs, you have a super heavyweight division. But understand how confident Baturbiev is. In my favorites folder right now, you're going to find one of the more important fights of the last 15 years, an amateur match between Baturbiev and Alexander Usyk. And against Usyk, Baturbiev, who was ranked number one at heavyweight at the time, is aggressively crashing the pocket against Usyk in a way that, let's just say, AJ didn't dare, right? Paterbiev is recklessly crashing the pocket in the first round against a mover, right? Usyk, despite his punching power, is on the move. He did not want to trade with Paterbiev. You get to the second round, and I need for people to frame the second round of that fight. 
Usyk decides that he has to do something to keep Paterbia from crashing the pocket. Now you have to ask yourself whether Anthony Yard is going to make this decision. It's pivotal. Usyk decides to start throwing straight lefts. And Usyk is a southpaw. Straight lefts to Baturbiev's body. Now, the reason that second round is important is beyond this fight. Understand, Usyk is calling Tyson Fury belly. Right, folks? It's not just a taunt. I believe that's Usyk's strategy to beat the taller Tyson Fury. What he does in the second round against Paterbiev is going to be, in my opinion, what he does for most of the fight against Tyson Fury, who will not have the foot speed advantage on Usyk. Well, what we find out in the usyk Paterbiev fight, and Usyk beats him multiple times as an amateur, is that Paterbiev is not defensively blessed in protecting his body. Right? He simply is not. He gets hit in the body enough where you notice he stops being hyper-aggressive on his front foot. Now, the million-dollar question in this fight is whether Anthony Yard, who does not have the amateur pedigree, of Arthur Baturbiev is whether Anthony Yard has the timing to avoid getting hit with Baturbiev shots while getting close enough to Baturbiev to land power shots to Baturbiev's body. If I'm Yard, I forget about headshots. Baturbiev is that blessed, just like it was hard to hit Joe Fraser in the head. But Terbiev, just based on timing and angles, is very hard to hit in the head. You notice in the Usyk fight, Usyk, who's a surgeon in hitting guys with headshots. You remember the end of the Tony Bellew fight, right? He's a surgeon. You notice his focus is Baturbiev's body. I believe that's what wins him the fight. Yard's path to success goes through Baturbiev's body, right? Yard has to come in and he has to be savvy about it. He has to contort his body in such a way where he has the side of his head protected from Baturbiev's shots, right? He has to channel Floyd Mayweather type defense he has to come in at an angle. In other words, not straight. He has to come in at an angle so the far side is protected. He needs to make a decision before he enters the pocket. Which hand am I going to use for defensive purposes? Which hand am I going to go to work with on the guy's body? Baturbiev is not a clincher. So it's going to be up to Yard on how to be deep in the pocket, defend himself while throwing big time shots to Baturbiev's body. Folks, it's a tightrope. Also, Yard has to, if he sees Baturbiev's head close enough to him, if he thinks he can hit Baturbiev's head, he needs to plan the sequence. So as he throws a right hand up top, he's not exposing himself to the counter. Now, let me say this. There's a group involved in your bet. And wow, they are good. From the Baturbiev side of the aisle, if you believe like I do that Baturbiev wins this fight by stoppage, folks, there is no bet to make. The casino has drained, literally has drained 
your betting options away. So, you believe Arthur Perturbiev is going to win by stoppage. Folks, the casinos are only giving you a minus 350 on that option. Think about how absurd that is. They're telling you that if these two fought four and a half times, Baturbiev by stoppage would be the result in three and a half of the four and a half fights. I don't believe there's enough value there. The over-under five and a half rounds. Folks, that's too low. This fight could easily end in the first or second rounds. That Joe Smith fight, how long did it last? Or the fight could carry a few rounds, as some Baturbia fights have. Right? The five and a half is simply too low. Let's say you're Einstein, and you say, well, the one thing I know is that this fight's not going to go the distance. Two heavy-handed guys, two knockout punchers. Folks, the casino has priced that at a minus 800. What's the point in taking those odds? I'd rather invest in silver or Bitcoin than have a one-off at minus 800. So if, like me, you believe Baturbiev wins the fight by stoppage, you're all dressed up with nowhere to go. Right? At this stage, with these odds, I would only consider betting on the play if I privately thought that Anthony Yard is going to win the fight. Now, let's be real here. It's feast or famine for Anthony Yard. I don't care where the fight is. It could be in Yard's house. Forget his backyard. It could be in his house. Anthony Yard's not going to win the fight by decision. He's just not the boxer that Arthur Baturbiev is. Right? Let's stop humoring everyone in the room. Let's stop being PC. Right? When it's a financial transaction and either you win or the casino wins, there's no room for PC. I don't want everyone to be polite as they're taking my money. There's a defensive side to Arthur Baturbiev's game, right? He's hard to hit in the head. I know it's happened. I'm aware of the Callum Johnson fight, right? I personally feel he got knocked down by Marcus Brown, made a video about it, right? They're calling things a headbutt and stuff. I'm not sure if I buy that story. I know it's possible, but understand, in most of Baturbiev's fights, He's hard to hit. Usyk has to go to the body to land with regularity against him. By contrast, Anthony Yard's a guy who could not get out of the way of Kovalev's jab. Contrast Kovalev having a hard time finding Canelo with Kovalev feasting on hitting Anthony Yard. So Yard's not going to win by decision. If you believe that Yard wins this fight, I believe it's by stoppage. Lord knows the casino is tempting you, right? Just like the woman on the sofa is tempting you with the Pino. Just understand, here you're getting tempted. It's a plus 650 on Anthony Yard to win by KO. The way I would structure the bet, since I believe this fight ends by KO, I just think the other guy gets the KO, not Yard. I would hedge the plus 650. In other words, yes, I'd give away some money. I'd want to break even. I'd want to break even if I lose the bet, right? Since I believe 
the winner is going to be Baturbiev. So the way I would play this, if I think, if I'm going to bet on the possibility of Yard winning this fight by stoppage, is to take Yard by stoppage at a plus 650. Right? I believe the line is enticing. Take Yard by stoppage at a plus 650. Now, if I'm going to bet 10 bucks on Yard by stoppage at a plus 650, I need to have a hedge where I get paid back the 10 bucks. If what I think actually happens, actually happens. It's a minus 350. You need to bet $35 on Baturbiev to win by stoppage. To win the 10 that you want to bet on yard to win by stoppage. So the bet I'm suggesting here, and you'll see it drains a lot of water out of the pool, is that you hedge 10 bucks on yard to win by stoppage at plus 650 with $35 on Baturbiev to win by stoppage. If Baturbiev wins by stoppage, and I don't see the fight going the distance, if Baturbiev wins by stoppage, it's a break even. I win 10 bucks on the $35 bet I have on Baturbiev to win by stoppage. But I lose it on the yard to win by stoppage. So it's a break even. You live for another day. If yard gets the stoppage, then while the world is, you know, amazed at the upset, you're privately thinking to yourself, okay, I lose the 35 on Baturbiev by stoppage, but I've just won 65. So I net 30. Time to go to the pub and to pay for a few pints. That's how I see the fight. I think Baturbiev wins. I think these fighters look alike but are very different. I think you have to be a very advanced fighter to be able to have the timing to go to Baturbiev's body and to then move out of harm's way like Usyk did. I'm just not sure if Anthony Yard has that level of skill. He certainly has the punching power. His punches are short. He could pull it off. If he times it right and just leans the shoulder in and gets a nice left hook to Baturiev's body, might be able to pull it off. But it's a long shot. The casino has upped their game. None of the props that I see are worth pursuing, right? Understand how inviting the casino's being in this fight. If you believe Baturbiev wins the fight by decision, this is that rare fight where they're giving you not better than two to one, not better than three to one, not better than four to one. They're giving you a plus 550 on Baturbiev on points. I'm spending no money on that prop. Because I believe this fight does not go the distance. Right? Anthony Yard on points, they're not giving you a plus 500 or a plus 700 or a plus 10 to 1 or even a plus 15 to 1. They're giving you 16 to 1 odds on Anthony Yard winning by decision. They're using your own intelligence against you. Because Lord knows we've all seen fights, right? Carl Froch against Arthur Abraham, for example, where you thought to yourself going in, 
you know, oh, gee, uh, there's a chance this fight might go the distance, even though it's unlikely, and then the fight went the distance. I don't think that happens here. Right? Yard understands after having lost to Lyndon Arthur the first time by trying to stay outside. Yard understands that he needs to come inside. Both of these guys come in to square don't they? Right? Both of them. They're going to be heavy punches thrown. They're going to be heavy punches landed. I don't see the fight going the distance. Somebody's going to get stopped. I believe it's Anthony Yard. The problem is the casino's not compensating me for the risk. The only viable play here is on the yard side of the ledger, but you need to be Protect it with a hedge, and the hedge is going to cost you dearly. 35 bucks to get $10 worth of expected winnings. That's what a minus 350 means. So let's watch the fight. If Yard is just trying headshots, I think it's going to end badly for him early. If Yard is smart and is trying to throw body shots... He has to frame the body shots so that Perturbiev, who has the better balance than him, who has underrated foot speed, doesn't start protecting his body. This is a fascinating fight. I think Perturbiev wins by stoppage. I think the fight is unbettable from the Perturbiev side of the aisle. The casinos have upped their game. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I agree. The yard odds are outsized. It's just that the hedge is extremely expensive. I'm expecting Baturbiev to win by stoppage. Who knows? I'm looking at yard by stoppage, and I'm thinking, wow, that's mispriced. If I go that route, I'll be hedged. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there is a prop that fascinates you, right? And I understand the first round they're offering you, this is how good the casino is. Perturbiev at 16 to one. The second round they're offering you Perturbiev at 10 to one. The third round, eight to one. If you believe that this is going to be jam-packed, like the Joe Smith fight just was, you could grab a number of these rounds. And if you hit in any of them, right? I'm talking about the early rounds. Then you're covered. Right? The problem is, as you look at Paterio's record, you're going to see some savvy fighters, Grosnick, for example, lasting several rounds against him. How savvy is Anthony Yard? I believe there's an open question on that right now. So the casino has invited you in the room. They have your favorite music playing. They got your favorite liquor out there. They have pay-per-view boxing in the background. They're offering you seconds. They're offering you things you've thought about. What's your move? Let us know in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the fight.